What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute no equipment Tabata cardio workout. So grab your water and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute Tabata cardio workout. As I said, no equipment needed today. And I'm gonna pull a little bit of a sports theme in today. So you don't have to be an athlete to have done any of these movements. But just know if you have, you've associated basketball or football with a body movement, this might help you visualize and just keep your heart rate up, okay? Basic fitness moves though, so just rock with me. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest throughout the whole entire workout. We've got four rounds of each exercise and we'll be grouping them by sport. So we have a basketball, football, soccer, cycling, and we'll finish up with some boxing and volleyball. So go ahead and make some space around you, grab your water, grab your sweat towel. If you would like to do some modifications like taking your mountain climbers up to an incline, you can pull out the bench. I'll be doing that for myself as well as I'm almost 28 weeks pregnant, okay? So let's go, get ready. Arms across your chest. Three, two, one, here we go. Good job, open your chest, lift your chin just a little bit. And start your breathing right now. Energy program, we're about to wrap it up so I need you to keep bringing all this energy today. Good, just the left arm over. Open. Good job, three, two, switch arms, one. Here we go, same move, cross the body. Great work, energy. This program has been all about making sure you bring the energy. Maybe it's just mentally, you're like, I'm here, I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna do my best. Heels to glutes, that's all I ask of you. Sometimes we talked about earlier in the program, energy being a mindset. So make sure you don't show up feeling like, oh, I'm not motivated, this isn't gonna be a good workout. It is, you just have to decide it is. Three, two, and slow that down a little bit. Grab and pull, switch. Good job, pull. Last one, and then let's take a wide stance with your feet. Bend one leg, straighten the other. Feel a little inner thigh stretch, and switch. Great job. And as you start to loosen up, you can move that just a little bit quicker. Take it down to the floor. I'll be showing you ways to dial this workout up and down, depending on where you're at in your journey, in your day, you do your best. I'll show you how to make it just so where we keep moving. All right, bring your hands into the middle. Stop right here. All right, take your left foot back behind you. Right leg is up top. You're gonna dip that heel or the knee down in the back and lift it up. Here we go. Two more and then we'll switch. Good, take your hips up and then just switch legs. Same thing. Great job. Two more, and then make your way back up to standing. Good job, bring your feet back in underneath of you. How are we feeling? Let's jog a little bit here. All right, 20 seconds, we're gonna start with basketball. Okay, we're starting with slides, lateral defensive slides, right here. One, two, one, two. All right, we go there in nine seconds. Right after that, we have knee drive layups, okay? So let's go, slides in two, one. Here we go. Hands out to the side. You're guarding the person in front of you. 20 seconds here, so it's gotta be intense. Two. One, good job. We've got layups or power skips. Opposite arm comes up with the opposite knee. Three, two, one, let's go. Stay on the ground here if you need to. Seven seconds. Two. One, good job. Last move, rebound and pivot. 
You're gonna grab, touch back. Grab, touch back, okay? Come right back into the middle. Two, one, let's go. Up and then open to the side. Good, 10. Two, one, perfect. Good job, we're going back to the top. Slides for defense again. Here we go, three, two, one, come on. That's it, don't cross your feet. Four, three, Two, good job, we're back to layups. So if you step with your right, drive up with the left, same arm as the leg on the floor. Two, one, let's go. Give me some height here. If you can really get up there, I need you to get up there. Six. And rest, good. Rebound and pivot. Whew. Good job, here we go. Four, three, go up, pull that ball down, pivot back, let's go. Six, five. Two. One, all right, let's go back to the top. We're going for slides. Everything is two rounds this time. So we've got two rounds of slides, ready? Round one, two, one, let's go. Good, 10 seconds. Two. One, pause right here. One more round of slides. Turn it up a little bit more, okay? Here we go, four, three, last round. Let's go. Are you bringing the energy? Don't just get through it. Maximize your effort in this time. Nine, eight, three, two, all right, great job. 10 seconds, layups. Whew. Let's keep alternating, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Good job, nine, eight. Two. One, rest, one more round of layups. Let's go, stay moving, five. Come on, bring that energy, two, one, layups. Ten, come on, finish your layups right here, nine, eight. Four, one more, two, one, all right, last thing. Two rounds of rebounds. When you bring that ball down for the rebound, you're pivoting, getting ready to pass it, okay? Two, one, let's go. Grab, pivot. Nine. Four. Two. One, you got one more round, rebounding. Let's get a little higher, grab that ball a little bit faster off the glass. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, look up, big pull down, nine. Three, two, one, 
and breathe. You are finished with basketball. Grab some water. All right, we're moving on to football. Two exercises, North American football. Okay, we'll get into football for the rest of the world or what we call soccer right after this one. All right, so a little bit of agility. Five high knees and a floor tap is your first one. Second one, rotating pop squats. So you're kind of like on defense for both of these, okay? Five high knees, tap down like your alignment, okay? Whew. Let's go there in five. Five high knees, touch down. Three, two, one, let's go. And when you touch down, I want you here. Wide legs, arm back. Nine. Two, one, rotating pop squats. We start here. Touch down, touch down. Okay, just getting ready. Two, one, let's go. Left, right, middle. Four. Two, one, good job. Just those two. So let's head back to the top. Five high knees, floor tap. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Work your arms, not just your legs. Four, two, one, good. All right, rotating pop squats. Okay, so you're just kind of stepping out and saying, let's go. Three, two, one, come on, let's go. Seven, good job. Move your legs, come on. Three, two, one, two down. Last round is double time for both, okay? So four rounds through each one. This last round we hit double time. Ready, let's go. Three, two, one, rest for 10. One more time, same thing. Five and touch. Keep your legs moving. Four, three, two, right back into it. Let's go. Eight, good job. Come on, come on, quicker. Two, one, all right. Last round of your two rounds of pop squats, okay? Whew, here we go. Three, two, one, break it down. Open, open. Two times through here, we move on. Good, get down quickly, so make sure you're not here, okay? Boom, boom. Three, two, one rest for 10. You've got one more round. We're done with this sport. Whew. Five, three, two, one. Let's go. Nine, quicker. Eight, seven. Three, two, one, and you're done with that sport. Great job, grab water. Whew. We're moving on to soccer, also known as football. Three exercises here, toe taps, forward kicks, and then quick feet goalie block. All right, let's go in 18. Toe taps, first one if you have something, touch right here, just a ball handling drill. 
Second one, forward kicks. Okay, last one, quick feet, go. Quick feet, go, okay? Start with your toe taps. Three, two, one, right here. Just ball handling, you can touch your water bottle, you can step it up and touch your bench, whatever you wanna do, quick feet. Work your arms, six. Two, one, rest, good. Forward kicks, you can hop with this one, like this, like a skip, or you can just kick. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, add a skip if you can. Give me some height if you can. Work your arms, five. Good job, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds, your last move, quick feet, goalie block. I'm supporting myself with the same side leg. Okay, give me about five chops, block. Two, one, let's go. All the weight is here. Four, three, two, one, rest. We're back to the top with your toe taps. You wanna go up to something a little higher, feel free, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Work your arms as well. Arm is going right back like I'm putting it in my pocket. Not across here. Nine. Three, two, one. Forward kicks in 10 seconds. Take this 10 seconds to breathe. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hop, skip, kick, whatever you can. Forward alternating kicks. Good, 10 seconds. Two, one, last one. Quick feet, goalie block. So just think of going kind of like a disco, right? Boop, okay? But you've got both arms blocking a shot. Two, one, let's go. Nine. Three, two, one. Last round, double time for all three. Starting with your toe taps. If you can go a little higher, do it, but definitely a little quicker. Two, one, let's go. Light on your toes. Modification, little taps. Five, four, two, one, rest. Just tap it right here until we're ready for round two. Big deep breath in. Round two and three. Two, one, let's go. Hands in the pocket, not across the shoulders. Keep them low. 10, faster, go, go, go. Two, one, breathe, great job. Forward kicks, you got two rounds. Let's alternate, keep going left, right, left, right. Three, two, one, go. Good, bring your knee up, then your heel. Good. If you're not jumping, these are still intense. You're still working your arms. Two, one, rest. Okay? Arms are still working, core is in control. Round two, three, two, one, go. Nine, eight, come on. Four, three, 
two, one, breathe. Whew. Last two rounds of our goalie work. Three, two, one, let's go. Getting you to use your obliques here, okay? Full arm extension to the side. Core is working hard. We're working sagittal plane and then frontal. This is very intentional. Two, one, rest. One more time through. It's your ability to adapt, to stay moving, to learn how your body works and then push it. Two, one, let's go. Can you get a little lower? Keep the core in control. Ten. Three, two, one, and breathe. Amazing job. Third sport done. We're moving on to a little cycling. Two exercises. I'll show you how to do each of them. I'll modify the second one for myself. Mountain climbers and then bicycles, okay? So cardio and then a little core cardio. <sighs> So mountain climbers ranging from least difficult to most difficult. Least difficult is gonna be the option to take an incline, march it out, okay? I can speed it up from here to make it a little tougher, down to the floor to march it out to be a little tougher. And then the last most difficult is a sprint here. Flipping that over, you've got your bicycles up next. First mod, here, okay? All the way down to the floor, crunch up. Cycle here, okay? I'll be staying up top. Let's go, pick your poison in four, three, mountain climbers, two, one, let's go. Good job, get it, get it, get it. Eight, seven, three, two, flip it over, bicycles. Whatever this looks like for you, it's a cross body movement, okay? Crunch up your shoulder blades. Three, two, one, let's go. Nine, eight, good job, come on. Push through that burn, four, three, two, one, rest. Now here's an option to make those mountain climbers a little more difficult. Give me a cycling arm position on your elbows. Do it if you can. Two, one, let's go. Eight, seven, two, one. Back to bicycles. Whew. You're doing amazing, I'm with you. All right, this will finish out round two. In two, one, let's go. Come on bicycles, if you're on the floor doing your core work, get those shoulder blades off the floor. You can slow it down even from there. The crunch and twist is our main focus. Four, three, two, one, great job. Last round of both, double time for both. Okay, cycling arms if you can. Three, two, one, let's go. Nine. Two. One, great job, stay here. If you can make that more difficult, I need you to do it. If you're not ready to go to the elbows, I just need you to speed your legs up. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on, come on, go. Eight, seven, six. Two. One, all right. Bicycles lay down flat. Whew. Last two here. Three, 
two, cycle it out, let's go. Ten. Two, one, rest, lay flat. Open your abs up a little bit. Big deep breath, one more time through. Let's go, five, four, cradle your head, crunch up. Two, one, go. Good job. 10 more seconds, push yourself, let's go. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful work. Grab some water, towel off if you need it. We've got a volleyball duo here, okay? Whew. All right, slide and bump, okay? Hands are gonna meet in the middle when you step over. So you're here, up, here, up, here, up. Okay, we're adding a little hop to our bump. Three, two, one, over, up. Good, just bring your hands together. Vertical hop, over. Eight, seven. Three, two, one, good. Side step and set. So now you're going over, up, over, up. Four, three, come on. Two, one, let's go. If you're a volleyball player, get your arms up there like you're setting the ball. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. And let's go back. Slide and bump. This time, slide, bump, here, okay? Same thing. Two, one, let's go. Here, lift. Ten seconds, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Step it over. Whew, set it up. We're right there. Four, two, one, step, push. Six, come on, come on, four, two, one, breathe. Double time for both. Let's close it out. Slide bump. Three, two, get over, pull it up. Come off, off your toes. 10 seconds. Two, one, good. Step it out, one more round here. Whew. We're almost there. Four, three, two, slide bump, let's go. Ten seconds, up, up. Three, two, and rest. Two rounds right here. That's it. Whew. Side step and set. Set up your team. We're teammates here. Two, one, go. Think about getting the ball over to me so I can spike it across the net. Okay? You and I are teammates here. Ten more seconds. Let's go. Up. Good. Three, two, one. Rest. Tab it out. One more round. I need you quicker, up and down faster. Three, two, one. Come on, let's go. Get over there and get up. Ten seconds. Three, 
10 seconds, quicker. Over, up, over, up. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. Ooh, and you've made it to your cool down. Stay standing for me. Lift your arms up. Big deep breath in, exhale. Again. Last one. Good, hands on your knees. Take your legs a little bit wider. Whew. Fill up your lungs, great job today. A little 30 minute sports cardio, just to help you focus. Bend your right leg, straighten your left. Sometimes it helps to just get a little mental focus in there like a sport, right? All right, switch it over. Great work, anytime you need a little boost, need a little add-on, you know where to come. Whew, this workout, by the way, is completely effective for your workout for the day, so I'm not saying if a workout's only 30 minutes, you can add something else where you need to, <sighs> okay? But if you're out of town, don't have equipment, this is a great option. Switch sides, and let's go back up, pull the heel to the glute. I've got plenty, by the way, workouts on the channel, all grouped by how much time I program for you, the body, far, the body part that I focus on, <laughs> and switch. <sighs> I've got four week programs. If you need to hop into something that is programmed for you by a trainer, four week programs, eight week programs, 12 week programs, just have to scroll down in the YouTube channel and click on the playlist tab. Okay. <sighs> Hands on your tailbone, gentle push forward. Every program that I bring you, it's not just a random mess of hopefully this is fun. It's very strategically programmed to make sure you have recovery time, to make sure you have an intention for each workout, to make sure you're progressing throughout the four weeks. <sighs> Five new workouts a week for the most recent programs within the last eight months. Arms open. Okay, so if you're looking for something specific, if a body part is what you're looking for, like I just need some abs or I just need some cardio, I've got that sorted. If I just need five minutes of movement, if I want a 60 minute workout, all those are sorted in playlists. And if you're someone who's been peppering in workouts, just randomly jumping around on the channel and picking workouts and you're having trouble staying consistent, I challenge you to jump into a program, okay? We have so many programs, probably around 50 programs now. Hands face the floor, drop the ear to the shoulder. And that's my best tip for consistency, making sure that you're not just jumping around, skipping around. I'm trying to take all the work out of that search for you. Okay, switch it over. So you don't have to come here and figure it out yourself. Your personal trainer, that's me. I've done all that work for you. Okay, and the consistency and likelihood of adherence is a lot higher when you're following a program. You know tomorrow's workout is on the program, it's the next day, okay? So great work today. Always remember how proud of yourself you have to be to keep this journey going, okay? Don't treat yourself like you're rubbish until you get to the final goal, okay? You're not just garbage or unhappy with yourself until you get to that scale weight or body composition or clothing size, okay? We gotta be proud of ourselves all the way through. Journey satisfaction is the highest indicator of your results. Okay, if you hate this whole journey, how likely do you think you're gonna be to step off of it, to quit, and then have to try and force yourself back on, which just takes more time for you to get to your goals, okay? Be proud of yourself. Reward yourself with things that keep you on the journey, like a new water bottle, or a sweat towel, or a sports bra, versus something that's like a pizza night that turns into a pizza weekend, an ice cream weekend, okay? Reward yourself with things that keep you going towards your journey goal, and I promise you, you're gonna reach those goals a lot faster where you head out today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and lock in your crushed workout. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and I want you to comment below that you are proud of yourself. And I'll see you back here for our next workout. Bye everyone. Great job today. I'm so proud of you for crushing this workout right along with me. If you want a little bit more work, I've linked a video for you right here. Don't forget to stretch a little bit more with the video that I've linked for you down here. And last but not least, subscribe to the channel so we can keep growing our community all over the world. I'll see you tomorrow.